Hi everyone, this is Naomi. In this video, I am going to show you how to practice octaves. So in order to play an octave, okay, so how do we make sure that we are able to play every single note precisely? Here's the way to practice. As you can tell just now when I was doing this, you can tell that my hands are really very big. So um, so like for people like, like me who has really small hands, sometimes um, playing the octave can be quite challenging, but there's always a way to practice it. So now the very first thing that I would like to talk about is um, to always get ready for the next chord. Um, how do we do that? So the, the key to realize is that I'm going to just use my right hand to demonstrate. Okay. So like say, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna play this C scale from C to C and back to C. So now, always get ready. So that means like after I play the C, before I actually press down D, I am already touching the D notes. So every single time, every single time before you play the next octave, always touch the note first. So touch, 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 touch. touch. Okay, so go back, touch, 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 touch. So always make sure that you touch instead of, so if you have your, um, instead of just strike down your hand like that, because the chances of getting, um, playing the wrong notes or hitting the wrong notes might be like this, you know, it will be very high. So always remember that we want to make sure that we touch the next note, the next octave before we actually play down. Okay. So that's technique number one. Technique number two, it is that instead of playing down like that. Okay. So in, if we want to play a little faster, what we actually have to do is to, instead of playing down, we're going to play up. So it's going to be like an upward motion. It's almost like you're bouncing your hand up, up into the air, except you're bouncing up to the next note. Okay. So it's like down, up, down, up, up. So as you can tell, I'm using a little bit of my wrist to do this motion. So slow motion is like, okay. So see, my wrist is actually doing the job as well to help. Okay, so down, up, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch. Okay, so come back, touch, down, up, touch, down, up, touch, touch, touch. Okay, so that's another way. And then another thing is like, say the last, uh, the third, the third thing I was that I would like to talk. About, uh, the third thing I would like to talk about is that um, never kind of like freeze your hand like that so <laughs> that's for sure it's not gonna work so um the third thing is that every single time after you're done playing and playing playing an octave just kind of let the tension go release release so as you release as you can tell my pinky kind of went up a little bit so i'm actually just releasing just releasing all that tension because for me personally okay so um because my hands my hands pretty small so like this is actually a pretty um, intensive um gesture for me so in order to release in order to release the tension i just have to release my hand and make it relax so relax so release release the tension i want to make sure that when i bounce up okay so we always want to make sure that when we bounce up we are not doing that this is really, really tense. So release, okay? Just make sure that you just relax and release the tension, okay? So, so do it really slowly. Practice a few times really slowly to focus on whether I'm touching the note, whether I'm doing up, and whether I'm releasing. So, okay. So do very slow practices many, many times, and then only you speed up. Okay, so this is how you can practice the octaves. Here you go.